Have you recently checked some of your competitors' Google My Business listings in search results and Google Maps and noticed some of them included additional information like this, which you couldn't find on yours. Don't panic because today I'm going to tell you what they are, why they're there, why you should care and what you can do about it so they show up on your very own Google My Business listing. Hey, my name is Luke Duran, the founder of rankingacademy.co.uk. If it's your first time here today, why don't you subscribe and click on the bell button so you don't miss any of my future videos. So if you've been searching for a local business on Google and have come across listings that include additional snippets of information such as this, it is because Google has introduced them as a new feature in the Google My Business listing results. So what are they? Google calls these justifications because they kind of justify why a business shows up for a specific keyword someone has been searching for. The snippet is displayed next to an icon and related keywords the searcher has been looking for get bolded. Where can they be found? In the Google Map Pack results and on Google Maps. Why are they there? Although it's been mostly unnoticed by many, and I'm sure it includes you too, I believe Google has introduced this new feature so they can continue dominating local search results altogether. Matching the intent of a searcher by displaying related keywords directly in the Google My Business listing results will enhance the customer experience and help them find what they need a lot faster. Why should you care? The Google My Business listings displaying related keywords that match the searcher's intent are likely to drive a lot more traffic than the ones who don't. If I'm searching for earbuds to sell, for example, which listing do you think I am most likely to click on? So if you want to drive more customers to your business, you'll want to get some of these justifications to show on your listing. How do you do that? There are currently seven different types of justifications available. Unfortunately, you can't just sign into your Google My Business dashboard and add them from there. That would be too easy, right? But most of them can be indirectly controlled. Let me show you what they are and how you can do that by jumping on the computer. So what I'm going to do is go to Google and search for a keyword that will trigger a Google Map Pack result in which hopefully I will find some of these justifications. Let's start with putting my glasses on first and then search for something like spa near me. And there you go. So this result shows three different business listings, all of which have a justification and they all seem to have the same justification, which in this instance is the review justification. The reason I know this is a review justification is because the icon next to the snippet is this blue dot with the symbol of a person in it, which means it comes from a review. If you want review justifications to show up on your listing, you're gonna to need to do two things. The first one is you're gonna to need to collect some Google reviews from your customers because that's where it is sourced from. The second thing you're gonna to need to do is ask your customers to write keyword rich reviews, which mention the products that you sell or the services that you provide. How do you do that? Well, I've crafted a review email template you can use, which suggests to the customers what they can write about, which hopefully will help them do that. You can download it from the description below. Time to move on to the next justification. So I'm gonna look for something different this time and I'm gonna go for Radiator Repair London. This will trigger a map pack and you can see on the second listing, there's a new justification which is called their website mentions. That's the actual name of the justification itself. Notice the icon has changed to a symbol of the earth which is the World Wide Web and the keyword that I've searched for is also bolded as part of the snippet which really stands out. This justification is triggered by the content Google has found on the website which is linked with this Google My Business listing. And what you'll notice is if I go to the link that is used for this listing and search for radiator repair, it doesn't actually show on the page. That means you don't have to have the keyword mentioned on the page that's linked with your listing, but as long as it can be found as part of the content on your website, you'll be okay. And when I do a little bit more research, I can see radiator repair London is mentioned on a different page, which is one of the services page. And this is what you need to do if you want the website mentioned justification triggered as part of your listing. Make sure you create content that will include the keywords that you are targeting. The advice I can give you here is create a dedicated page for each service or product that you sell, which will make 
your website a lot richer that Google can use to feed the website mention justification. It will also be very useful for your overall SEO strategy. Time to move on to the next justification. Okay, so if I search for the keyword birthday cake this time, you can see as part of the map pack, a new justification for the listing in first position. The icon is an exclamation mark, which means this is a post justification. Post justifications are snippets of text pulled from the Google posts you publish directly on your listing. Note that the keyword that matches the search is once again bolded. The extract will come from posts that are less than 60 days old. In this example, the extract comes from a post that was published just over two weeks ago. Since you are in complete control of the Google posts that get published on your Google My Business list, Thing. The recommendation here is to publish some regularly and to ensure that you include some of the keywords you target as part of your business. Time to move on to the next justification. There we go. Let's now search for an emergency electrician in my area. This is going to trigger another map pack result from which I can show you the next justification. This one is called the provides justification and is included in all three results. The icon this time is a check mark followed by the word provides, which is ideal for service type of businesses. The snippet also includes the related service in bold. This justification is pulled directly from the service section of your Google My Business listing. So if you're a service based type of business and you haven't added your services in your Google My Business dashboard, I suggest you do it today. If you already have, then you might want to revisit that section and add some more if you think they're relevant. Let's move on to the next justification. Let's now go to Cincinnati and search for an oyster bar. This will trigger a Google Map Pack in which I can find another justification included in the second listing called Menu. The icon is a knife and fork and the label for this justification is Menu Highlight. The keyword is once again bolded. Obviously, this one is aimed at anyone running a restaurant. The content of the justification seems to be extracted partly from what is listed on the menu section of your Google My Business listing or photos users have posted on your profile. So make sure you add a detailed menu in your Google My Business dashboard if you haven't done it already and encourage customers to publish images on your Google My Business listing. Let's have a look at our next justification and go to Google Maps for a change. I'm going to search for earbuds for sale near me. As you can see in the first result, there is a new notification called in stock this time. Just like for the service notification, the icon is a check mark followed by the label in stock. The main keyword is also bolded. This notification is very useful if you sell product as it clearly indicates to the searcher if whatever they're searching for is available in your store. Comparing the first result with the second one makes it instantly clear why this justification can make a massive difference when trying to attract customers to your store. This notification is generated by Google via a tool called See What's In Store that is powered by third-party partners such as Pointy. Pointy will provide hardware and software you can use to connect to your store scanners to access inventory information, which will be accessible via the What's In Store search tool. If you're selling physical products, this is a no-brainer and I thoroughly encourage you find out how to utilize this What's In Store functionality. For more information, I've put a couple of links in the description below. Let's move on to our very last justification with one more search. Let's go for Windshield Wipers Richmond. On this set of results, you can see a new notification called Sold Here. This notification is used by Google to show searchers if the product they are looking for is sold in that store. Note that in some cases, the check mark icon is displayed and sometimes it isn't. It is not known exactly where Google is getting this information from and could be coming from multiple sources such as your website, your reviews, but also from users' feedback that Google collects via the no displays option on your Google My Business. My suggestion here is to stick to best practice when it comes to your strategy that we've already covered as part of this video. Make sure the content of your website is rich with keywords, encourage your users to leave reviews which are rich with keywords, and so on and so forth. That's all for today, guys. Time to work on those justifications. If you enjoyed the video, remember to smash the like button. If it was your first time here today, don't forget to subscribe. And until next time, happy marketing.